One area of muscle car performance that's always tricky is the brake system. Sometimes these cars really don't stop as well as you'd want them to. Well, we found a solution for this problem and a couple others in the form of a Hydro Boost brake booster. A brake booster is just a mechanical device that increases the pedal pressure when you put your foot on the brake pedal. It helps the car stop better and it reduces the effort that you put in to stop the car. The problem with a vacuum booster is that if you have a high lift, long duration camshaft, your engine doesn't make as much vacuum to operate the booster and then your pedal effort is increased. And this is where a Hydro Boost brake booster comes in. The Hydro Boost is a booster that uses hydraulic pressure generated by a power steering pump. So if your car has power steering, all you do is plumb in the Hydro Boost booster unit and now it uses this high pressure hydraulic system to help apply the brakes. Today we're going to install a Hydro Boost booster from Hydrotech, which makes aftermarket kits for a lot of popular muscle cars. And we're also installing a new Brake Master Cylinder. It's a really trick integrated unit from classic performance products, the uh, MCPV-1. The Hydro Boost system from Hydrotech is a really neat kit. It comes with a brand new Hydro Boost unit. Hydrotech sells a couple different styles of kits. One is universal, so you can apply it to pretty much any American muscle car. And the other style is specifically made for certain cars. In our case, we're installing that classic performance products integrated master cylinder so we can clean up a lot of these crazy hydraulic lines and this external combination valve. So you might not have to do this step on your own install if you're not going to change your master cylinder or your hydraulic line routing, but we want to clean all this up. So this is all coming off. The first step to installing the Hydro Boost unit is to actually remove your vacuum brake booster unit. Uh, these usually just bolt to the firewall. You've got to disconnect the linkage to the brake pedal itself. And remember to disconnect your stoplight switch if it's connected to the brake pedal. When you compare both units on the bench, you can see from a side length that they're about the same length overall. However, as soon as you turn them this way, you can now see how much room the vacuum boost takes up underneath the hood of your car. And if you've got tight quarters, it's not going to be helpful. The Hydro Boost unit also has some different connections. There are a couple of hydraulic lines on the bottom side, and this big shiny thing here is called an accumulator, and this is what makes sure you have extra stops stored up in case the car loses power while driving. You can remove your vacuum booster and reinstall your Hydro Boost unit right in place. Really all you have to do is bolt it on. The other piece of hardware we're installing is a very unique uh, master cylinder from Classic Performance Products. It's obvious just by looking at these two master cylinder units that they're very different. But the Classic Performance Products unit is not just different because it's shiny, it's made out of aluminum. And this is a combination unit. It has an adjustable proportioning valve built into the master cylinder. And you can set this on the car to establish proper brake bias from front to rear. This is nice because you don't have to plumb in a separate piece, it's all right inside. Once you get the Hydro Boost unit bolted to the firewall, you can attach the master cylinder. We've threaded in the stoplight switch on the bottom and the port that they supply, and this just bolts right on. You do have to be careful that there's a push rod inside the booster, it's got to match the master cylinder. Ours is already set, it's something you're going to have to do on your own. Once you get the master cylinder tight against the booster, you can reconnect your brake lines. The Hydro Boost unit works on hydraulic pressure generated by the power steering pump. So there's a fitting on the one side where the fluid comes in the Hydro Boost unit. There's a fitting on the opposite side where the fluid comes out of the Hydro Boost unit. And that fluid then goes into the power steering box and then this fitting comes out of the power steering box and back to the power steering pump. There's also a separate return line from the Hydro Boost unit to the power steering pump. So the Hydrotech kit comes with all the hoses and fittings you need to make up custom lines for your application. Custom making high pressure hoses can be kind of scary, but in reality it's not that difficult. What you have to do is properly measure the length of the hose 
uh, and then make sure you account for the uh, length of your fittings that are going on on either end. To cut the hose, put it in a vise, and we use a cutoff wheel, a high-speed air tool, to cut the hose to length. Once you have your piece cut to length, you slide the collar onto the hose. Next, you take what's called a ferrule that gets pushed into the hose, and then you tap it into place on something smooth and flat like an anvil or a hard table. The inside of these has a Teflon insert that needs to stay circular. To keep it circular, take a punch and slide it in there and it will make sure the Teflon liner is the right shape. Once that ferrule is seated properly, you can then lube the whole thing up with some assembly lube, push your new fitting on by hand, start threading it, and then take a couple of wrenches and tighten it down in the vise. Once they're together, you have a little room to adjust if you need to in the car, but you're going to want to make sure that all the ends are pointing in the right direction before you finish tightening them down. And that's about it. Hydrotech supplies good instructions, though, if you need help. <laughs> we'll see. Turn the wheel, step on the brakes, and the stuff explodes everywhere, right? The next step is to install your hoses and make sure you don't route them somewhere where they're going to rub up against something moving that might cut through them or uh, something that's too hot like an exhaust header. There's a little trick when installing the two return lines back to the power steering reservoir. Uh, most reservoirs have only one fitting, so you can use a T fitting, but they recommend that the straight part of the T, the part of the fitting that goes straight through, is the one you connect to the hydro boost and then the right angle part is the one that can go to the power steering box and this is so you don't have a you know kind of a, a log jam if you will a high pressure fluid buildup in that T which might cause a little jitter in your brake pedal if you install it properly you shouldn't have any problem this system doesn't require engine vacuum to work so make sure you remove the vacuum hose that used to go to the booster and uh, cap off the fitting on the engine that. Uh, then inside the car make sure you connect the push rod from your brake pedal to the hydro boost unit. Again they supply the proper fitting so that all goes to get her smoother.